Hey beautiful, today I am sharing with you my recipe for the best peach cobbler ever. So the recipe starts with me spraying a very small pan. Why so small? Because this is my peach cobbler which is why I'm sharing it with you, so that you know you can make desserts for you. You can make dishes for you. Peach cobbler is like one of my favorite desserts, and I never make it because my husband isn't a fan of it. But I decided, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a little mini peach cobbler. And this recipe is so forgiving. Um, it is absolutely delicious. What you're gonna wanna do is to add a little bit of vanilla extract into those peaches as well. Um, the other tip that I wanna give you here is to wait until you're finished adding the rest of the ingredients into the dry mix because it'll make blending it all together once you get to that butter going into this dry mix. It'll make blending it all together much much easier and if you're going to use unsalted butter then you're going to want to add salt to that dry mixture as well i'm using salted butter here so i didn't need to add additional salt um, the other thing i want to point out in case you're watching this video and you are not reading the description box is that that's not flour that is bisquick and that is the secret to this amazing peach cobbler. I have the full recipe down in the description box. When you're watching the video on a, on a regular TV screen, you can't really get to the, to the description box. So if you need me to send it to you, let me know, happy to do that. But I just wanted to share this because I want you to know you don't have to cook just for your family. You don't have to just cook for your kids. You don't have to cook just for your husband or for whomever it is that you're cooking for. But cook for yourself. Like I was so excited to make this mini peach cobbler for myself. And then, of course, after I made it, <laughs> it was so ridiculously good. And I was just like, oh my gosh, this is so good. This is so good. Who do you think was eating it too? But I mean, the reason I made it was because it is what Yvette wanted to eat. And I just hope that you will take opportunities to do what you want and not just do things for other people. This is just a little mini peach cobbler. But if apple pie is your thing, if whatever your thing is, girl, do it for yourself. I ended up having to put a, a baking sheet under it because it started to like um, bubble over and um, I really should have pulled out a silicone pad to put under it so that my pan wouldn't be completely ruined but it didn't mess up too much. Those gloves by the way, those oven gloves are our products. You can find them on Amazon. I will leave a link in the description box. Once it has cooled just a bit, you want to let it cool a bit. Don't, don't kill yourself with this. I know it is so tempting to dive right in but let it sit for just about five minutes and then you'll be so happy that you did um it settles just a bit the flavors kind of meld together just a little bit it firms up a bit it gets a little bit crispier on the top and oh my goodness listen if you like peaches, if you like, you don't even have to like peaches, you don't even have to like cobbler. I want you to try this recipe and see if you like it as much as I do. Again, it is a mini peach cobbler and all of the recipe, um, the full recipe is gonna be down below in the description box.
I mean, come on. Really? I'm watching this and I'm like, okay. <laughs> Look, that is the perfect bite. Come on now. Thank you so much for watching today. Um, I hope that you will try this. I hope that you will take better care of you. I will be praying for you and I will see you soon.